everyone, this is Carol, and I'm back with some more creative thoughts to bring you. I This time I have another one of my Small Thoughts collection. I have used, all throughout the journal, Artie Mays, her Jane Austen kit number two. And I love this little journal. Uh, it is a five inch by six inch, six inches this way, five inches wide, has 62 pages, both sides, plus a 32 page booklet uh, in the journal itself included, and that also is 32 pages both sides. There's at least 20 tags in the journal. It has a one and one fourth inch spine, and I love how the spine turned out. I used a page from the kit and put the lady on there that hides the stitches from the pamphlet stitch that is sewn into the one signature that the journal has. In the back is another page from the kit. We'll open it up. This is a Tim Holtz hitch post closure. I have also used chipboard as in a cereal or a cracker box and heavy cardstock, so it is a hardback cover. Inside, I most of the pages I have cut and used pages from the kit, so you will see, and the uh, regular pages are all coffee dyed also. There's a, a um, tag this book belongs to, and I line all of my tags in most every journal, so uh, I won't have to show you that through the entire video again. Okay, and this is a page from the kit. I've used cardstock for this cover page, and I put the little gems uh, inside the little floral punched Martha Stewart punch. And here's another page from the kit. Here is a tag, and again, these are all from the kit. Uh, there's a tiny little tag that I've used with some um, of the yarn. Oh, I can't think of the name of that, but um, yeah, I think you know what it is. Okay, and here's a corner, corner pocket. I have not done any stamping in this book. I just felt that the pages that I used the pan with the holes in it that I got from Walmart, the aluminum pan, and it just had enough decoration and I wanted this to be strictly for writing purposes for those of you who like to write a lot in your journals. There's another little tag and this is paper from my stash that I made a uh, corner tuck. More writing space. There is a tag and yet another tag and this tag, this bottom portion is of the bottom part of a page from the kit. I downsized the pages on some of these so they would fit this little journal. Here is a paper from my stash. More writing space. This is just for decoration. You can write around that. And that is, again, from the kit. This is the negative side of a punch. The I punched out flowers, and I thought, oh, yes, I could keep those and put it in a journal. And it fit perfect in this journal. And then I added the little gems. So that, And that is not a tuck spot. It's strictly decoration. More places to write. Another card, journal card. And these, again, are pieces from the kit. I've made all the pockets from the kit itself. And there's another journaling card. This is a tuck spot that opens up with lines on it to write. And there's another little decoration from one of the pages. Scrap pieces from the pages that I had cut. And here's another little journaling card. 
and another little corner page that I had cut all the bottom off and I thought, oh, that would make a good corner. There's a heart-shaped doily. And this is the center of the signature. And I put little flowers on the strings. There's another little um, canning jar. And this is from Artie Mays also. And it's the admit one ticket. And on the other side then I folded it over and made a tuck spot on this side and then one on this side. And there is another journaling card. And here's uh, the other side of that doily. More paper to write on. One of our flowers. More writing space. Here is a journaling card. I tuck that right under and on the other side is an envelope from the kit. And inside that is paper that can be written on. So there's lots and lots of places to write in this journal. And fun little spots. There's another tuck spot and this one is there's journaling card and here's a little card. This flips up and it flips out. So you have actually two pages to write on there and if you don't want anyone to see it you can just fold it down and put your little journaling cards back in and that takes care of that. And then here is a tag more writing space another journaling card and this is another corner from one of the pages that I've cut and made into a tuck spot. And more writing space. Here's the other side of that paper. I believe this paper is country at heart that I have. Uh, she has done, uh, it's a digital uh, line that um, I print out a lot of this paper. I really like it for these journals. There's another journaling card, another tag. This was, I'm sure that was paper, that was one of the roses. I'm not sure where, which kit that came from, but I'm sorry about that. There's more space, and then here's more of this uh, on the edge. I cut, fussy cut and made it a tuck spot and there is another journaling card. More space to write. Another journaling card, little journaling spot and tuck spot. And this takes us to the back. And there's another tuck spot here with tags. And this is a ticket. And on the back, I've made out of one of the pages, I've made a tuck spot. And I did that a little fourth of an inch on the end and the side there so that this booklet would fit in. And this can be removed. And there's 16 pages, 32 both sides that can be left in the book and used for extra writing or you can take it with you, whatever you choose to do. And as usual, I make a little envelope and in it I have my information about the journal and I sign it and tuck it right in the back. So you can use that for something else or keep that in there if you so choose. And that ends this video for this journal. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed it and if you do I hope you will put a like 
and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it won't be too long from now. I'm going to be doing a journal special for a giveaway, and I will let you know. Um, I'm trying to decide how many and how large of a journal and um, all the info, but I will let you know. And uh, so please hit like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.